Hello, and let's create an 18-hole scorecard. Scorecards can be found under Scorecards, and selecting 18-hole scorecard, we can create the scorecard. The first step is to create event information by either changing the organization, the tournament name, and date for the event. The next option is scorecard format options. Under here, we can set the players per card either by hole or tee time, one player per card, two players per card, or by team number, which is in the player list. For this example, we're going to use hole or tee time. We can also display the player's name in many different ways. Last first, first last, last first, first last plus an additional column, or by last name for two-man teams. If we decide we're going to use last first plus a column, this could be an example of setting the scorecard for a 90% handicap event, and we want to display the player's 90% handicap and 100% handicap on the scorecard. In the player list, you'll see two different numbers here, one in the S4 and one in the handicap column. The 90% is in the handicap column, and the 100% handicap for that player is in the S4. So by choosing the S4 as an additional column to display, we can show both the 100% and the 90% handicap of a player on the scorecard. When we're ready, we can set the sets of tees onto the scorecard by selecting a tee area. We see a top tee, a second top tee, and a bottom tee. The first two tees will always default to the top part of the scorecard, and the bottom tee will default to underneath the scorecard. When we're ready to, we select the top tee, choose the tee that we want to display, and click on Select. By clicking OK, the tee name will be dropped into the dialog. We can create the scorecard that's either a wide card, which is 11 by 5, or a narrow card, which is 11 by 4.25. And we could choose 1 or 2 by simply clicking on the word 1 or 2 on the scorecard. We have the option of displaying three different lines of highlights on the scorecard by checkmarking those. We can select our own colors for each line and our own text for each line. In the highlight line 1 and 2, you can just put that on any line on the scorecard that you like, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Or highlight line 3 always defaults to the bottom line on the scorecard. For this example, we're just going to leave this at narrow, 11.5 by 4.25, and we're only going to do one scorecard per page. We also have the additional option of including shading on the scorecard. Include the tournament water name as a watermark. We can add pace of play to the scorecard if necessary. Highlight the, shot, the shotgun starting hole. Or if we do a quarter point, we can display quarter points and set the quarter point values here in the quarter point system. When dotting the scorecard, we can dot all 18 holes, the front nine only, the back nine only, or we can choose not to dot the scorecard at all. We're going to create all 18 holes, and when ready, you have to click on Scorecards and All Scorecards. Once the scorecard is created in Microsoft Word, we can bin begin to make edits to the scorecard. To do that, we're going to close the Print Preview box, click on Add-ins on the player list, and we can choose one of the areas for the scorecard to be changed. For example, if we'd like to add a watermark to the scorecard, we can do that by clicking on Watermarks. And we're going to default the facility logo onto the scorecard. And you'll see the logo has been dropped in. By clicking Smaller, 
we can change the size of the logo by clicking on let me do it we can now move the logo to wherever we want on the scorecard let's leave it over here by the handicap by closing the dialog the handicap and the watermark will be now dropped into the system where we like if we want to make additional changes we can click on fonts make the names larger or we can select a different font in the system and add that to the scorecard we like to change the colors we can do that as well choosing the area we like to make changes to and dressing up the scorecard to fit the parameters of your current event when you're ready and you made all the changes to your scorecard you simply go to file and print and begin to print the scorecards that you need to do for your particular event we hope this has been useful and it taught you a little bit of how, how easy it is to create scorecards from Tournament Expert. Thank you, and have a great day.